Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and friends I hope everyone is fine with the blessings of almighty Allah brothers and sisters as everyone knows that there is a war between Palestine and Israel and many people are saying that we have seen angels and ghosts but today we are showing you a video in which you will be watching that angels are landing on the roof of Masjid al-Aqsa subhanallah so before starting today's video it's a request to you guys please watch this video till end so you can understand better so without any delay let's start today's video so here is the first clip from the first camera angle mm. that was captured as the there angel you can or whatever see. that light is descends upon the dome of the rock in jerusalem then all of a sudden boom it shoots up into the sky and then there was this mm. angle where you can see wow. it happening again take a look you see mm. the way that it is literally still and then all of a sudden it just projects itself directly up that is not normal there is no technology that the public have been told of anyway that can do such a thing but here's where it gets interesting because many have already seen that footage in fact it was even broadcasted on major news networks the reasons well that's debatable but what many do not know about is that this event was actually captured on at least four separate cameras and i have managed to get my hands on all four clips take Whoa. a look now this is going to absolutely blow your mind so there's the first clip in the top right corner. Now let's sync up the same event, the second mm. camera. These people are witnessing this event together. But it gets even more incredible because here is another clip. And another this is clip, a different clip from four separate angles. Mm. Now the bottom left clip is phenomenal. It almost looks as if the being has wings or whatever that is has wings. Mm. Now. Look as it flies up, watch. Oof. It's absolutely incredible. Mm. Absolutely incredible. What do you think? Now, no, in the Battle of Badr, which was one of the first from battles that was good. fought by the Muslims to regain what they had lost, Allah mm. subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that two qualities, if they're found in people, the angels may come to help them. Wow. Mm. At times of difficulty, the angels will come to assist. Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. When I think of this, it brings tears to my eyes. In the Battle of Badr, if I can just go back, take you to that battle, the Muslims were only 313. And oh. the enemy was actually a thousand strong. And the Muslims didn't really go to fight. They just went for a certain purpose. And Allah took them all the way to the place known as Badr. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them, you know, we sent... 3,000 angels to help you on the day of Badr. 3,000 angels. What? It's amazing. The day of crisis, the day of war, the day when the belief of the believers was being tested and Allah says, وَلَقَدْ نَصَرَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِبَدْرُ Remember when we helped you during mm. the battle of Badr. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Amazing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and this is verse number 145. Allah says, when we informed you of the 3,000 angels and you told the believers of the 3,000 angels, subhanallah, what happened? Yes, Allah gave them even better news of another 2,000 angels who would actually come if they had two qualities on that day. Allah says, nay, behold, if you bear patience and you develop your taqwa, if you're conscious of Allah and you bear patience with those two characteristics, if the enemy were to swipe at you right now, we would send you 5,000 angels to protect you. Guess what? They were patient. They developed their taqwa. They were conscious of Allah. They were very, very patient on that day. They continued doing whatever they had to. They fought the enemy as best as they could, and they overcame the enemy with the help of Allah, oh, who sent 5,000 angels to assist them. <laughs> Amazing. Look at the day of crisis and the comfort sent by Allah. It's what was that comfort sent by? By two qualities, sabr and taqwa. Develop oh. your patience, develop your relationship with Allah, and here against the enemy, Allah will grant you victory. And in the same way, my brothers and sisters, throughout our lives, there will be so many challenges, so many things happening, our enemies, people who don't like us for the right reasons, for the wrong reasons, whatever it may be. You know what? If you develop sabr and taqwa, then they will never have a right reason to hate you or to be your enemy. It will always be a wrong reason. But 
you will always emerge victorious. May Allah grant us victory at all times. The gatekeepers of now hell. Now another video, Mufti Man, watching and very informative. The people who will be entering hell. Hey, Adam, yati kum rusulum min kum yatluna alaykum ayati rabbi kum wa yunziruna kum liqa ayawmi kum hada. Did messengers not come to you reciting the verses of Allah, reminding you about this day, that there will be a day of resurrection when there will be accounts of all your deeds? Didn't anyone come to remind you reading the verses? And you know what? The response will be, Bala, yes, indeed, they came. But what happened? Oh, we lost out. We didn't believe them. We didn't take them seriously. Let's not be from among those. Surely we would like the gatekeepers of Jannah having the doors of Jannah open for us. And they say, Enter. With all peace and security, you are so secure, no fear, nothing. You enter, oh. this paradise belongs to you. May Allah grant that to us. Subhanallah. The gatekeepers of Jannah. Do you know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? Let's listen to these beautiful verses. Surah Al-Zumar. The people who used to be conscious of Allah during their short period of life in this world, on that day, they will be driven into paradise in groups. When they get to Jannah, they will find the doors wide open. Unlike hell, hell, the doors are closed. When you get there, then they open the doors. There is a difference of a wow. Wow is one of the letters of the Arabic alphabet. If Allah says Futihat Abu Abuha, it means you get there and then the doors are open. And if Allah says Wa Futihat Abu Abuha, it means when you get there, the doors will already be opened. Amazing the difference one little letter can make in meaning. Mm. So when you want to enter as a VIP into a place, as you are walking in, you sail straight through, you don't stand and knock on the door. They know you're coming. The door is open and you're welcome. Mm -hmm. But when you're going into a prison, they don't open the door. They wait for you to come. You stand at the door. Then the door opens. As you go in, it closes again. You cannot go out. Allahu Akbar. That's the description Allah has delivered just by a single wow in the Quran. Single wow. Subhanallah. So when they are going into paradise, and I'm sure, inshallah, we will be from among them. I have hope and I want you to have the same hope. Amen. And the angels will say to us, Mashallah. The gatekeepers of paradise will say, Salamun alaykum. You know what that means? Peace be upon you. You have done good. So now you can mm -hmm. enter into this Jannah forever and ever. Subhanallah. Wouldn't we love that? Brothers and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the answers of Mufti Mek because his answers are always according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched his video till end. His answers are very informative and very logical. So in the first part of today's video, we have watched a video which is from Palestine and you can see that people have witnessed that they have saw angels landing on Masjid Al-Aqsa and you can see that many people are watching miracles over miracle in uh, uh, Palestine after starting war between Palestine and Israel and you can see that this uh, video was captured and this incident was captured uh, by four different cameras and you can see that there is one light coming down uh, at the tomb of uh, Masjid Al-Aqsa and then suddenly went up and people were shocked that what's happening on the tomb of Masjid Al-Aqsa. So guys, what do you think uh, about it? Do you think that this was angel or something else? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And if you like this video, then it's a request to you guys. Please share this video with your friends and family members. And after that, we have watched the video of Mufti Mank in which he told us that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped uh, his people and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at the time of Badr and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sent almost 3000 angels to help the Muslims and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So guys, what do you think about today's video? Please let us know by giving your comments below. If you like today's video, then it's a request to you guys. Please share this video with your friends and family members so they can get benefit from it. Another request, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first so see you guys in next video till then allah hafiz